All right, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today, I'm finally gonna start my project of my arcade cabinet. I've been slowly showing videos of some of the pieces for it. But now I believe I have all of the pieces together and I'm just gonna go over right in this video pretty much what I need to make this come true. So if you've followed me so far, I've got a bunch of the pieces laser cut from a Pinoco a laser cutting service I used. I made all of the vector images on Inkscape and I sent it to them and they cut it out and uh, I unboxed it on video. You can check it out if you want. So I have all the pieces set here. I also got a bunch of pieces length of wood, a couple feet of wood that I got from Home Depot and I cut them in smaller section. I'm gonna glue them with some wood glue to strengthen the joints when I start building the cabinet box. I also bought a small little saw that I used to actually cut these and I'll use it for fine other work. I didn't really buy an electric saw or anything like that just because I don't have the money for it right now. So this will do for me. So I bought a little wood saw and I cut these three inch pieces here. I also need quite a bit of other things and I'm gonna just kind of go over what I need for the arcade cabinet. So when I make the box, I'm gonna need some Gorilla wood glue. I'm gonna need my wood saw. I'm also going to need some screws and when I'm going to be putting these screws in I'm going to want to drill some holes so I got myself a couple countersinks and this is a countersink drill bit combo so when you drill in uh, the hole it also drills a little recess that the screw bit can go into so it sits flush with the wood so I got a counter bit drill bit right there. Um, I also got some painters tape that I'm going to be using to help hold the piece together as the glue dries. Um, what else did I get for the box? Oh yes, I also have, I got myself a drill, uh, a Black & Decker uh, 5 amp drill driver that I'm going to be using to actually drill and put in all the screws for all the pieces, so I have a drill for all of that. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be using to make the actual box. And then there's a lot more pieces that go into the interior of it. There's also a little grommet I got to, hold, to cover the hole I have uh, for all the wires that I'll be putting in later as well, so I got the grommet for that as well. And then for like pretty much the internals of it, oh I forgot, I also have some scotch, uh, like uh, double sided velcro tape to hold uh, the Raspberry Pi and all the wires inside so they're not like sliding around when I'm moving it, so I have this as well. And for the brains of the operation, I have the Raspberry Pi model uh, B+. I have this, I have the case for it, and this is going to need some storage for it, so I also do have a small little Kingston uh, what is a 64 gigabyte uh, flash drive? Pretty cool, so I'm using that. Actually, I'm gonna try to put the ROMs on here and run the ROMs off of that. Then I also am gonna need a tiny little micro SD card, so I do have a little micro SD card as well for that. And of course, the Raspberry Pi does need a power supply, so I did have a power supply for it. If you haven't seen the video, I got a little kit for my Raspberry Pi, and it came with the power supply and a couple other things like heat sinks. Check that out if you want. So I have the power supply for the Raspberry Pi as well. And of course, for the arcade cabinet, it's not going to be complete without a whole bunch of uh, arcade buttons. So I did get a bunch of buttons. Most of them are blue because I really do like blue. And I'll be installing these soon. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in the video. So I got a whole bunch of buttons to fill up all of the holes, the pre-cut uh, holes from Pinoco. A whole bunch of arcade buttons. Also, for an arcade machine, you're going to need an arcade joystick. So I actually do have an arcade joystick as well. Pretty cool. I'm going to be installing that as well and showing you how to do that. And uh, to connect all the buttons and the joystick to uh, the Raspberry Pi, you're also going to need a zero delay USB encoder, and that's what's in this bag right here. And I'll be explaining how to put that in and install it and connect all the buttons to that as well. And uh, lastly, you're going to need something to have it display on, and I got myself a tiny little 10-inch TFT high-definition display. Pretty wild, and it's right here. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Little display right here, set that aside. And it also comes with a power cord for it and then a small little male-to-male -male audio cord to connect the Raspberry Pi to the small little speakers on the back of this little TV. And uh, yeah, I believe that's all I'm going to need to make this huge project. There's a whole lot going on right now. And if you can see, my plate is quite full and I'm going to start building it soon. The first step I'm going to do is actually gluing the cabinet together and I'm excited for that. And I forgot also, I'm going to need a power strip to power everything. So yes, this is pretty much all I'm going to need. I'm sure I'm missing one or two things. Oh yes, I also forgot. I have the small little dual USB extender that I did a little review on and unboxing as well. So right now this looks like a huge jumbled mess, but in a couple weeks or however long it takes me, this is going to turn into a really cool little arcade cabinet project. 
Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Keep checking in to see the progress, and I'll catch you later.